And it wasn't until just a few weeks ago when I accidentally bought my first fan at an auction. I didn't want it, but I ended up with it. That little Rex Ray, which I did make a video of. Um, but here, just a few weeks later, I ended up buying a second fan on purpose at an estate sale. For $6, I was just looking for a fan to use in the house. And this was in the basement. I thought nothing of it as being some type of vintage fan. It looked very modern to me. A pen crest. It had lots of nice controls. Thermostat. Reversible. And this is the back. But it wasn't until I went to plug it in that I began to think maybe this is older than I thought. It had a very wimpy two prong plug on it, which didn't strike me as anything that would have been approved in the later years. I began to research it and see what I could find out, try to find out how old it was. All right, here's the inside of the front from the front grill. It's a Lakewood type CY6 model CY6219A, one tenth of a horsepower, 1020 RPMs at 2 amps. And there's the pin crest model number, which I just can't read. Looks like it says C something, doesn't it? I don't know. Turning it around and looking at it from the back. Motors made by Redmond. Looks like the vibration mount is made by Lord in Erie, Pennsylvania. So I've got it on its side right now. The controls are over here at the top. So that looks like the oil access point. But that means to oil it really you'd need to have this thing turned totally over on its top. I don't know if that's normal or not. Or I could be wrong. Maybe that's not where you're supposed to oil it, but I don't see any other places where you could. That's where I'm going to oil it. You know, as I look at a couple bits about this fan, I wonder if it was meant to be a window fan. The markings are intake and exhaust. The grills are a little different. The back grill has snaps for uh, on to take on and off, whereas the front you need a screwdriver. So I'm not sure, maybe it was somehow designed to be a window fan. But anyway, let's turn it on and make sure the thermostat is cold enough so that it will start. Low. because the screw's missing on the front of the, there's a screw missing on the lower right of the grill here. I need to replace that. Medium. High. low exhaust
thermostat shut it down. So it runs well. Of course, trying to find out how old it was would have been easier if I could have read that model number, which I just can't. But stuff I read on the internet showed that Lakewood stopped using Redmond motors sometime in the 50s. And also I read something where the Lake Vibration Company moved from Erie, Pennsylvania sometime in there. So that might make this much older than I thought, maybe a 50s. Uh, whatever it was, it's hu hugely heavy. It weighs 30 pounds. I'd actually started carrying it around at the estate sale when I found it in the basement, but it was just so darn heavy I put it back because <laughs> there was other things I wanted. And then later after I got stuff out of my car, I went back and uh, it was still there. So I spent the six bucks and picked it up. But if anybody has any information on this fan of what year it might be or the model number, it looks like it was kind of a primo model at the time. Um, I'd kind of like to know a little more about it, but it's actually going to be a used fan. This is not going to be sitting like the little Rex Ray. So, um, if you have any information, let me know. Thanks for watching. Bye.